that the wind slash Encore property, $400, $100,000 guaranteed day one B. It's four o'clock, plenty of time to back slay reg. We're here to fire some bullets, bag and tag, big day two tomorrow. 5X multiplier for the ACR $100,000 contest. Check out this video I made about the contest. What's up guys, Jeff Boski here coming back with a very exciting announcement. The $100,000 competition amongst the ACR pros, the high stakes adventure running from March 27th through April 30th is back on. You'll find me every day grinding tournaments on America's card room, buy-ins $11 to $630 in an effort to accumulate my top 10 scores. In terms of buy-ins, this is one of the many factors of the competition. The other three categories are social growth on Instagram and Twitter. Trying to grow these channels by putting out a ton of great content for you guys. Check me out at Jeff Boski Poker on Instagram and I C U R A Rook on Twitter. It's free to follow. And of course, the quality of these posts. You can't just be shit posting. You got to put out quality, creative, innovative content for our viewers to enjoy. And the fourth and most dramatic portion of this $100,000 high roller contest is the heads up. 16 players enter, one player leaves. Different points for different finishes. The better you do, the more points you get in all four categories. Online play, social growth, the quality of the social content and influence on Twitter and Instagram, and the heads up competition that will be streamed on the America's Card Room Twitch page. Two team pros are going to Cyprus with a $100,000 bankroll to play high roller tournaments at the exotic destination against some of the best players in the world and some of the richest recreationals in the world. A fine mix. I just did this in Vietnam. Stay tuned for those vlogs to come out on YouTube and the full documentary on the America's Card Room channel. 12 pros enter, two pros leave. Will I be one of them that walks away with the $100,000 package in just over a month? Stay tuned. Jeff Boski on Twitch. I see you are a rook on Twitter. And Jeff Boski Poker on Instagram. You can follow along. I'll be doing daily updates. Do not miss out. This is going to be one hell of a month. 100K plus first class travel or zero. Make it or break it. I'm going to give it my all. You might be able to outsmart me, but you can't outwork me. Good luck, team pros. We're going hard. Stay hard! And do your part to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to see me in Cyprus playing high rollers, that's what you got to do. Let's get in there, build up a stack. Uh, I'm going to guess 420,000 is what we're going to bag. Just a random number. Let's get it. All right, I was going to do these hand histories outside, but it's a little bit too windy. It's going to really mess up the sound quality. So let's do them right here with blinds at 300, 600, 600. I'm in an early position with ace 10 of hearts. Raise it up, 1,200 to go. Small blind puts in the three bet to 3,300. A little small for my taste, but you got a customer. I call and see a flop of queen, eight, seven, two hearts. He sizes up to 5,500. I have 26,000 behind. We could call or we could take the much more aggressive route and grip it and rip it, fold out his ace jack, ace king, maybe even some under pairs, jacks, nines, etc. So we're all in. First hand we played. Any folds, we take it down. 800 big blind, ante under the gun makes it 2K, gets an early position call. I also call in the small blind with two tens off a 40, just under 40K stack. Thought about three betting, thought about ripping, but we just call, let's see a flop. Big blind comes along in a flop. We do see Jack 10, seven, two diamonds. We check to the razor who checks and flatter Tank checks, we did not want to see that. Safe card on the turn, please dealer. And safe it is, five, could bet. 
but I think we're going to go for that delayed check raise. Someone's going to want to take a stab at this very wet board. I check big blind checks and original razor quickly bets 2000. What does he got, like ace 10 or something? Pocket nines, early flatter calls, and it's time to pump up the price of poker to set up a river jam. I make it 10,000 to go with our three tens, small blind folds and under the gun snap jams having us covered. We have 35,000 behind total. Original flatter folds. We put in the call and we're up against pocket fives. What a sweet turn. The river's a six and we get the full double with some dead money up to 80,000. Feeling good. Back at the win. Action folds to me in late position. I looked out at six, four hearts. I've been very tight. So time to open it up and make it 2,200 to go. Only the big blind calls with about 11,000 behind. A flop comes queen, six, six, jackpot. Big blind checks, we bet the minimum, just begging for action. A very insulting bet, 1,000 chips. He doesn't think long before he grips it and rips it. We snap call and show him the bad news. It's especially bad because his hand is pocket fours, drawing dead on the flop. Very rare in No Limit Texas Hold'em. That's what I put him on. We eliminate a player and we're up to 90,000 chips. One good windy thing, right? At 1K, big blind, under the gun, plus one, opens to 2K. Late position, thinks about it, and shoves all in for 28,000 chips. I look down at ace, king of clubs, and it's a no-brainer. Original Razor has about 20,000 behind. We just put in the call. If, we, if they want a three-way, that's on them. Original Razor, tank folds, king, queen. Tough fold. <clears throat> and we're up against pocket fives with one of our outs gone. We are an underdog. We have video. Let's get there. If he doesn't call, I'm calling. I can't wait to see The fold. Yes. Can I look at the menu real quick? I'll let you know if I'll be at this table or not. The king on the river ships us the pot, and we're now over 120,000 ships. From a 30k starting stack, 4x starting, not even on dinner break yet. Here is a picture of beef drunken noodles, spice level 2 minus onions with a Thai tea to combat the spiciness. A great meal from Wazuzu. Use your red card for see if there's any comps on it. And we're coming back with about 80,000 chips after losing a few small pots at uh, probably 2K big blind or 1,500 big blind. Uh, yeah, 40 minute levels, so uh, great structure. Let's bag and tag in about five hours. The very first hand back from dinner, I'm in the big blind, rigged. There's an open to 5K at 1,500 big blind. The button jams 25K and I look down at Ace King suited. Let's gamble, I'm all in. And the other guy folds, we're up against East Queen off. Let's hold. We do hold and a pleasant return to the table. A few hands later, 1500 big blind, middle position jams, 14K. I'm on the button with King Queen off. We put in the call. Everyone folds and we're up against King 10 off. Queen high flop and he's done. Bust another player. Unfortunately, it's not a bounty event. Maybe we'll run good into mystery bounty someday. 1500 big blind ante folds me on the button. I have King Queen off again. I make it 3,500. Big blind shoves all in for 17,000. We put in the call. We're up against pocket fours. And we turn to King. 
That's good. We eliminate a player and we chip up. I lose a few small pots. Nothing too exciting for about an hour or so. Uh, a 2,500 big blind. There's an open. I call the button with king, ten of hearts. Flop comes ace, nine, eight, two hearts. He checks. We bet 6,000. He calls. He's short stacked. The turn is a 10, giving us a pair and a flush draw. And he open jams, 17,000. We put in the call and we're up against ace jack off. Let's get there. We do not get there and we double him up. Bet 50, now he's feeling like it's an all win. You get what I'm saying? 2,500, big blind ante. Conrad Simpson opens under the gun to 5,500. Under the gun plus one, David Jackson makes it 18,000. We're nine handed and I'm next to act with ace, queen of hearts. Conrad has about 130,000, but David has about 100,000, and I have about 120,000. What do you do in this spot? Four bet fold, grip it and rip it, or just lay it down and respect these early positions? Let me know in the comments below. I'll tell you what I did. I tanked and I folded. Feels bad, man. We're on another break. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. And I have about 120,000 chips going to 3K Big Blind. Let's find some good spots. Yeah. 3K Big Blind folds to me in the cutoff. I look down at Ace King of Hearts. I make it 7,000 to go. Female in the small blind raises to 22,000 off a 90K stack. Is she bluffing? Does she have aces? There's only one way to find out. We put in the Warm four bet, she quickly shoves all in, we call, and we're up against ace, king, offsuit. Let's see three hearts, dealer. One heart comes on the flop. Another heart comes on the turn. Oh, it's red. It's red. It's so red. I look down at two nines under the gun, make it 7,000 to go. Middle position calls and the big blind comes along for the ride and the flop comes. Nine, three, deuce, two clubs, top set. You love to see it. Big blind checks and we bet small since there's not much out there and we block top pair. We double block top pair. So I bet 6,000. Middle position puts in the small raise to 16,000. What's he repping? Flush draw? Pocket sevens, big blind folds, and I think we just have to put in the call and hopefully he overvalues his hands or keeps bluffing. When the turn brings a nine, we got quads. Hopefully it's not an action killer. We got a check to the razor and he quickly checks behind. We do not like to see this. We were hoping he was just gonna barrel it off. I don't know why the nine would scare him, but here we are. Maybe he's got a flush draw. The river's the jack of clubs. If he's got a flush. If he's got a bluff, we have to check quads to him. Could be some merit in betting, but we check, and he bets 12,000, a very, very small bet. I do my best to look irritated, embarrassed at this small sizing, and I assemble a check raise of 85,000, polarizing our hand because we do have a polar hand. We got fucking quads. He thinks about it for a long time. Looks at me and says, why so serious? It's because I want you to call. And he eventually bolts. With a 4K big blind ante in the middle position with ace queen off, open to 9,000. Open in the cutoff makes it 27,000 off of a uh, 95K stack. We have about 130K. What do you do with ace queen? Not loving it, but. Andy Dufresne said you got to get busy living or get busy dying. So let's live a little. We shove all in, get snap called, get shown the bad news that is pocket kings. And we do have video. Here's the run out. Oh, 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 oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, boy, did I <laughs> Peaking at 275,000. Feels great, man. Over the next hour, we lose a lot of uh, small, annoying pots. <laughs> I had your beef. I, think I, I had queens, no, you didn't. No, I don't think so. 
Enron break again with about 130,000 going to 6K big blind, just over 20 bigs. No worries, we're still in the zone. We're gonna finish strong, bag and tag. We're almost on to day two. We're playing to win though, baby. We gotta get a deep run. We gotta final table this. For the ACR contest multiplier, I can only do so much in the poker arena. I need your help. Instagram, Jeff Boski Poker. Twitter, I see you are a rook. Follow if you aren't already. Tell your friends, family, neighbors, relatives. Munson's at your local 1-2 No Limit game. Hit that follow button, it's free. Let's bag and tag. Bag and tag. The very first hand back from break, we're in the big blind, a uh, single big blind ante. Big blind busted the previous hand. 6K big blind, 6K ante. Under the gun, limps. There's two other limps, and I look down at pocket fours. Could jam our 130K, or we could see a flop. Eh, let's, let's see a flop. Maybe we will flop a set. That'd be sweet. And the flop comes. 10, 5, 4, two clubs. Looks good to me. We check, and the other three people check. I was hoping for a, a stab from a flush draw, a 10, or something. But no, everybody checks. That's fine. The turn's an 8. 6, 7 gets there. Pretty unlikely. And once again, we get tricky with it in check. Under the gun limper decides to bet 13,000. The other two players fold and we can slow play no longer. We got to check raise this baby so we can jam the river. I make it 43,000 to go. Live pro tip against recreationals. It's best to raise a size that's easy to call, for instance. That's why I made it 43,000, so it's 30,000 on top easy mentally to just throw it in there because that's what we want old school old school pro pro move there danny negron who liked to do this back in the 2000s so he thinks about it for a while and puts in the call no club on the river dealer the river's a three ace deuce gets there not too worried about that and uh with 81,000 remaining in our stack we only have one move here it's all in he goes deep into the tank i mean deep probably five minutes can ask the guys at my table if you're watching this comment below how long he tanked didn't really want to call the clock on him we've been playing together all day he's got a tough spot here and he eventually i think he's going to fold but then he says it just doesn't make sense why wouldn't you bet the flop why wouldn't you protect if you had a big hand he says this, says this out loud so i'm like oh shit, he's about to call and eventually he finds the call our set is good against 9-8 for second pair. He thought we were bluffing. Instead, we get that full double. And we're back in business, baby. 57 remain. I think 48 bag and tag for day two. The very next hand, under the gun plus one opens off a 500k stack to 16,000. Button, another big stack as we approach the money. Three bets to 40,000. It should be some pretty wide ranges as we get uh, shorthanded and close to day two. It is midnight. People want to bag up. People want that $800 min cash. I'm in the small blind with my fresh double and a fresh hand. Ace King offsuit, a prime candidate for the cold four bet. $110,000 is the price, leaving us $160,000 behind in case we got to, you know, jam some flops, get them to fold some better hands. You never know. Give them the illusion of fold equity pre-flop. Original blinds fold, original razor folds, and the button eventually says two words. All in. We didn't come this far to fold, especially with uh, just over 40 blinds and putting in that cold four ball. We put in the call and he shows us the bad news, which is the one and only pocket aces. Luckily, uh, a lot of Broadway draws, we can just flop. And some flushes before the flushes are possible. And we have video. Huge double. One time. Let's become chip leader of the tournament right before the money. And we are out of the win. $400, 100K. Actually, a 250k prize pool or something 54 remain 48 pay and we're not one of them good game good luck
Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. ICR Rook, Jeff Boski Poker on Instagram. Help me get over this devastating loss and win a $100,000 ACR competition.